Hello everyone, today we are going to look at customizable tables. We will use a freely available dataset and harness 2L. On the command section, type in web use and harness 2L to recall the data. So once you have the data available, this is a second national health and nutrition examination survey. You can describe to see uh, what variables are in there. And you can see there's a whole lot of uh, variables available for use. So we are going to create customizable tables using this data. Click on the statistics, summary tables and tests, then move on to tables of frequencies and summaries and commands. So once you click on that, uh, you will get a table dialog box for status 17. So here you can define your row variables and your column variables. And as well, you can define whether you want to see the marginal totals or not. So let's first of all take the variable sex. Sex to be part of the column variables. And when we hit submit, we get a command for creating the table. We have a table command with the first bracket indicating the variables that ought to get to the row section. And we have the sex going to the column section. So we have both male, female, and totals and their frequencies. Now we might want to add variables in the row sections. And here we can add a variable by just selecting from a drop down menu, we can select race. So once we hit submit then we get a two by two table which has sex on the columns and we have race in the rows so we might want to remove the totals so back to our dialog box and we, for the marginal totals we can say none let's see what happens when you click submit the totals for both rows and columns have been now removed and then if you look at the command you will see that we have table race gets into the row section and sex uh, gets into the column section now the next thing we would wish to add statistics to our table so we go to the table dialog box and we hit the tab on statistics and we have an option to create so in this case we would wish to have frequencies this has already been selected for you and once you hit accept and submit then you will get a table with frequencies for both gender and race the next thing we might want to add is the percentages to our table so you go back to the statistics tab create a new statistics and then for ratio statistics then we have percentage there so you hit on percentage and then if you hit accept and then submit then for each variable that is present in your table then you will have a percentage being introduced into the table the next thing would be to customize the output of our table so we go to formats this time would wish to reduce the number of decimal places in the percentage probably to one decimal place and maybe introduce the symbol for percentage so we will create the format that we want so here we want to customize the percentage results to one decimal point and then we select fixed numeric and then on the customize string format section we make sure that that uh, checkbox is checked and then we add two double percentage signs so that this can also appear into our table then we will need to select the percentage results so we scroll down the drop down menu until where we see percent as an option and we need to select that and accept once we hit submit then you can realize the percentage here has been reduced to uh, one decimal point and we have a percentage sign introduced into our table then the next thing we might want to do is to add additional statistics to our table probably we want to have a standard deviation of age between the two groups. So we would say summary statistics and we would wish to look at the standard deviation. But in this case, we would need to introduce the variables of interest. Let's say we want to see a standard deviation of age, then we need to select age from the drop down menu. Let's have age here and we hit accept 
and then submit let's see what happens so we have age being introduced here and we have the standard deviation of age for each subgroup so we have standard deviation here uh, that has been added to our group the next thing we might want to see is uh, add the mean of the age so we need to create summary statistics and then we look at mean then we select here age then once you say accept and submit then you can see that for each subcategory we have uh, the mean of age being introduced the next thing is to format so we want to create a new format for the standard deviation and the mean so in this case we want to have it fixed and to two decimal places and we look at the mean and once we say accept we submit you can realize that now mean has been reduced to two decimal places so the next thing we might want to do is to reduce the standard deviation again to two decimal places then we select here the standard deviation and once we say accept and submit then the values for the standard deviation have also been reduced to two uh, decimal places the next thing we might want to do is to customize our table into a presentable format we might want to remove the borderline so we go back to our table uh, dialog box there is a section here where we can customize the table and make it more presentable so we customize and then once we hit the customize button we have another new dialog box which allows us to edit and play around with our table again we have a preview for us to look at so we can edit the dimension labels we can change the name of our column variable uh, from sex to gender so when we click submit we can see that the title there has been changed and then we can say okay we can again edit the row variables so here we have the results and then we have the frequency we have the standard deviation and we have the mean so we want to change those ones those are three elements so here the first one will say the mean whose label is mean the second one we have the standard deviation whose uh, label is standard deviation and then the third one is a frequency which label is a frequency so on the label section we can edit this variable and say that this would be the mean of age and then the standard deviation we can change this to sd of age and then the frequency would be the number of participants so once we click ok then we see that our labeling here has uh, been adjusted and we say okay the next thing would be to remove the borderline so we come to cell appearance and styles so once we click that then we have the option to change the borders so in this case we hit the separate style for each side and then on the right border we select nil and once we hit submit then the border is removed then we can as well adjust the spacing between the results by clicking on the margins and then we hit separate style for each side and then uh, give instructions on the spacing that we need so we can put in there 5 we have 15 we have 5 we have 15 and then once we hit submit then you can see that now the numbers are clearly distributed and we say okay now the next thing that we might want to do we can again have additional formats for the cell appearance and styles so here you can decide what type of font you want to have on your table so we can say we want to have Arial as our font type and when we hit submit you can see that the table uh, font type changes again you can shade your table depending on which variables you want to tag so going back to the main would wish to say we want to have two tags and the dimensions are um, results and then we can say for the mean 
and for the standard deviation result we want to have those ones highlighted this is standard deviations then go to shading you can change the background color to light gray then when you hit submit then you can see that all the standard deviations and the means of age have been highlighted finally you would wish to export your table results to a word document then you need to specify where this document would be and then once you hit export then that will save your work into the directory that you have saved okay then finally you might want to select your codes you don't want to keep repeating this and export these ones to do editor and once you run these codes then you, your work will be reproduced